Hey everybody, you might notice in this video that Flynn looks a little bit younger and that is because we filmed this a few months ago and I just forgot to post it because I'm an idiot. So here it is, I hope you enjoy. What's up everyone, I'm Colleen Ballinger and yes, we are back on Amazon again for a fun little shopping experience. You might hear my son playing in the background. I'm not gonna apologize for that because actually I should be saying you're welcome for that because it's really the cutest sound in the world. Anyway, I have done so many videos recently um, buying products on Amazon and then testing them for you guys so you don't have to. Recently I did a video where I let my son pick out whatever he wanted on Amazon and I bought it for him. Now you guys really liked that video and you actually told me to do another version of it which is what I'm gonna do today but YouTube was like, how did you demonetize this video? It's inappropriate. Which I don't really understand why because my son is just cute and played with toys so I don't know why it got demonetized but it did. Here he is. He wants to say hello. A few of you guys recommended that I buy girl Girl toys on Amazon. Ah! Flynn does not like gender stereotypes. I'm not about gender stereotypes. He's gonna go play some more. Um, I think my friend Lacey was the first one to recommend this, but I saw this a few times. Exactly. So she said you should try buying girl toys or what Amazon is going to tell me is a girl toy and see if Flynn will play with it even though he is a boy. This kind of stuff typically upsets me. <laughs> I was a very stereotypical girly girl as a little girl. I loved all the things that society teaches us girls are supposed to love. When I was a little girl, dresses and sparkles and pink and purple and dolls and Barbies. That was my jam. And I'm a girl, so I I fit the stereotype of what a girl enjoys. My sister, however, um, did not. She didn't like playing with any girly toys. She only played with Nerf guns and army gear and cargo pants, never a dress in sight. She wanted GI Joes and Legos and all the stuff that society has taught us is for boys. So I actually love giving my son everything to play with. He has dolls and trucks and cars and blocks and puzzles and toys of every color and clothes of every color. We let him just kind of experience everything and see what he likes. He does gravitate towards the more boy stuff. So he likes trucks and cars and... See, he's currently playing with stickers that are all construction trucks. Anyway, I get frustrated when young children are stereotyped and told what they should or shouldn't like. When you go into the girls section of a store, it's all pink and sparkles and rainbows. And you go in a boys section of a store, it's all like dark blues and greens and trucks and things like that. Girl t-shirts typically have phrases like pretty princess, flirty, cute, daddy's girl. Little boy t-shirts usually say things like tornado and misbehaved, you know, I don't know. I'm not gonna go into all that right now. We're just gonna go shopping for girl stuff and see what we find. I'm gonna search girl toys. We'll see what pops up. So far, I'm seeing lots of pink, which I was expecting. I love the color pink. I don't hate on the color pink. I just don't think girls should be told they have to like pink just because they're girls and boys have to like blue because they're boys. Yeah, Flynn is saying orange right now. He's going orange, orange. Because he's like, what about orange, y'all? This is featured. So the top featured girl product is Scribble Scrubby Pet Scrub Toy Animal Toy Set. It has Oh, almost 6,000 five star ratings. And I think it's just like you color on the dog and then you wash it. This is the first thing that came up for, he's currently saying green track. He's playing with tracks. So I'm gonna get this for him. We'll see if he likes it. Anyway, so when you go to Girl Toys, this was the first thing that came up. Now I'm gonna go to the newest arrivals in Girl Toys. So the top one is this. And I have this already, but in like a blue, red color, more primary colors, not a pink one. I am curious to know if this one is more expensive. A lot of times girl products are more expensive than boy products because we don't love equality. Let me see if this is the same price. This is $17.99, all right? So it's this one. $14.99 for the same product, the exact same product, but it's blue and green. The pink one was $17.99. Girl products are more expensive across the board for a adults and for children. Look at razors, look at deodorants, shampoos and conditioners, body washes. Girl products are more expensive than boy products. Girls are paid less, but they charge us more for products. Super cool. Even when you're a baby, a baby is charged $3 more if you want the girly one for the same product. Anyway, moving on. There are so many things. A lot of these are choking hazards. Achoo. Achoo. So I'm gonna look up for toddlers and see what happens. 
There's this little cute magnetic doodle drawing board for toddler, girl, and boy. This is the first thing that popped up. It doesn't have very good ratings. It is the same price for all the different colors, which is good. So I will put that in my cart. This is the second product available, and it is a little purse. It comes with keys, sunglasses, lipstick. He loves doing makeup with me, so he actually might really love this little lipstick and compact mirror and a cell phone. See, these are the things that girls love. They love talking on the phone and doing their makeup. And that's all we're good for, really. So I think it's important for all young girls to have this product. <gasps> Pink cars. Oh my gosh. I appreciate this. I'm going to say I appreciate this. It is pink, so I guess that makes it for girls. Here we go again. Here's this product, $37.98. All right, I scroll down, and here it is for boys, $31.99. Pink is more expensive, guys. What can I say? The color pink means you're a girl, and it costs more money to make something pink. I'm actually living for this. This is a princess kit where like you can wear princess gloves and a tiara and a necklace and princess shoes. This would have been my jam. My sister would have never touched this. She wouldn't have wanted anything to do with it, but I would have loved it. Now I'm just gonna search girl toddler and see what happens. Okay, we have a pink bike. <laughs> That was funny to Flynn, apparently. We have, oh, the same pink princess outfit I got, the same pink car I already bought. So it feels like I got all the top, like, girl products on Amazon. I'm just curious what will come up if I type in boy toy. So we have race cars, walkie-talkies, guns, dinosaurs, things that explode. I just want to find one more girl toy. Maybe I'll let Flynn pick the final girl toy. Flynn, do you want to come pick out a toy? Which one do you want? Do you want any of these things? Do you want the doll, the camera, the tent, the makeup? There's a JoJo Siwa watch! Do you see JoJo? Uh. Not interested. Hopefully he likes them. I'll see you guys in a few days when these things arrive and we'll see if Flynn likes the girl toys or if he's too manly for that trash. Several days later. The moment has come. All of your presents are here. Do you want a present? No. No? <laughs> So, finally, the girl toys are here. So we're gonna find out if Flynn likes girl toys. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> this, it's the purse with the makeup. What's this, should we open it? Yeah! What is it? It's a purse. Can you say purse? What's in there? What's that? <laughs> say hello. Oh yeah? Is that your cell phone? Bye. <laughs> What's that, baby? It's makeup. Do you want me to open it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's that, Flynn? You don't like the makeup? Oh, okay. He's Hello? Bye. Bye. What's that? Should we open this? <gasps> oh, a credit card. Oh, lipstick. Can you put it on? Beautiful. Good job. Good job. That's right. Look at this. What's this, baby? Ooh, that looks. You want mama to put them on? How do I know? So you go like this one, watch. You hold the phone and you go, hello. That's what girls do. <laughs> Look, and you got keys. 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 So then what you do, Flynn, is you put everything inside your purse and you carry it around. You wanna carry this around? Here, hold it. No, no, all done? He likes the phone. Uh-huh. Good job, baby. Yeah, it's a purse. More keys. More keys. Now, he's not used to purses because I don't have a purse. I'm a girl, and I don't have a purse. What? Yeah, right? So he's not used to seeing these. This is a new thing for him. He's never seen a purse. But he's very busy on the phone, so. I'm curious to see if in a day or two he's still playing with these. Let's do the next toy and I'll give my official review on all of these in a day or two. The doodle board. Do you want me to open this? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Hi. Do you want a color? Hey. Whoa. Duck. Duck. I can't believe he's 
playing with it. It's pink and he's a boy. That's so weird. Thank you. Okay, watch this now. You go like this and he erases it. <gasps> nope, he wants his cell phone. He's like, mom, this is lame. I have a phone call to make. This one might be a bust. I'll report back to you in a couple of days. Wow. wow, he's never seen anything like this before. This is the princess kit dress up set. Flynn, your mommy would have loved this when I was your age. Do you understand how incredible this is? This is amazing. Yeah. Should we open it? <laughs> okay. Oh my. Hi, princess. They're not sunglasses. He thinks this tiara is sunglasses. He's never seen a tiara before. <gasps> Beautiful. He doesn't like things on his head, so that was predictable. The blue one or the pink one? Pink? You want the pink one? Okay. Hmm. Interesting that a boy would choose the color pink. Wow. Wow. So that's a ring you put on your finger like this. Look at that beautiful ring. And look, this is a bracelet that goes on your hand. On your hand. <gasps> Woo! I'm not going to see that. Oh, yeah, no, my bracelet. What is that? So pretty. It's a baby shoe. Do you want to put on the shoes? Yeah. Okay. Let's take them all out and you can pick which ones you want to wear. This first pair of heels, this is a big deal. You want the blue ones? Okay. Ooh, beautiful, Flynn. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, and done. You want the purple? Okay, we're gonna try the purple. One foot, other shoe. Ooh. They're a little hard to get used to. It takes a while. Mommy still can't really walk in heels. Do you want to put on the blue pink ones? Fun. Okay, we'll put on these. You want the purple ones? Ooh. Fun. Come in. You want to show dad how you got it? What you got? Beautiful. You like that? He likes the shoes. They make a lot of noise. You want to show dad that? Up a heel. <laughs> I think he likes that they make sound. We're putting on the glove. There you go. Beautiful. Whoa. That's beautiful. Gorgeous. That's pretty silly, huh? He's obsessed with shoes. We're going to be walking around the house in them like 20 minutes. Whatever keeps him busy for more than 60 seconds, I approve of and I'm stoked on. This is so fun for him because he loves his shoes. So these are shoes that he can put on and they're loud. So he's like living his best life. I have a feeling he'll be busy with this for a while, so we'll do the other toys later tonight. Okay, mister, it's time for more presents. This is the coloring bath dog things. <gasps> What's this? Happy? You want me to open it? Yeah. Good boy. Whoa. We have a kitty cat, a doggy, a poodle, and we have, they're kind of fuzzy, another doggy, and is that a doggy or a bunny? I think it's a dog. Bunny, question mark? So I guess what you do is you fill this with water and then you color them and then you can wash them off in the bath. Bitch. Okay, that sounded a little different than bath, but uh, we're gonna color these in. You get to color them, Flynn. So it comes with these markers. Then you wash them and it comes with this brush to scrub them, I guess. So first we're gonna color them. Good job, baby. The poo poo? Yeah, you're coloring in the poo poo, that's right. <laughs> Good job. No, no, no. Oh, you're all done with that one? You bath. Uh, we'll do the bath later. First, you have to color in the, the doggies. Green? You want green? No. There's water in here. Watch, I'm gonna show you how it works. There's a button. You push the button. <gasps> And it comes out. You did it. Oh boy. You want the poodle? Okay. Just put the poodle in here. Good job. Okay. We do one at a time. We're gonna do the poodle first. Can you watch? Scrub, 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 scrub. It's working. Oh my gosh, how fun. 
Hey guys, so somehow the footage of me giving him the big truck with all the little cars in it got deleted. I am so organized. I'm such a good YouTuber. Funny enough, it actually is his favorite toy of all the things I gave him. We're gonna give it to him today. He hasn't played with it at all yet today. We're gonna give it to him today. What's that? Is that your favorite? What do you think? You love this one, huh? Love so cool, it has a choo-choo, airplane, all kinds of cool stuff. Hofflin loves it, but he does love this toy, as you can see behind me. Yeah. He's obsessed with it, but somehow I deleted that footage of me giving it to him for the first time, because I'm really dumb. But he loves it! Okay guys, it's been a few days, and I will say, Flynn wow. had no interest in the purse and the shoes and all of the things that he got basically right after we filmed the video, he was over it. His cousin had fun playing with all the stuff and I'm gonna keep it here because I know all his cousins will enjoy playing it with all that stuff when they come over, but he doesn't have interest in it anymore. He still had a little bit of interest in the washing animal thingy, the little animal bath. He played with that a little bit the next day. The only one he's been obsessed with since he got it is the dar -dars. The dar -dars. Hufflin, you like the dodos. This is his favorite thing ever. He's been playing with it for days. It has a choo-choo train, a helicopter, a little car, and an airplane, and it has buttons that play music and make sounds. He loves it. The drawing board he actually really likes. Every day when he sees it, he wants to draw something on it and play with it. That one actually was a big win. He really enjoys that one, and he points out the different colors on it when he plays with it. So that one was a big success, and he really enjoys it. So overall, this video was worth it just because we found a toy that he's obsessed with. I mean, he's kind of obsessed with any toy or truck, car in general. But the moral of the story is that colors don't define gender. Whatever gender you are, you can like whatever color you want. It doesn't matter. I am not forcing any one type of toy or color or anything on my son. He's allowed to play with anything and everything and I let him choose and decide what he likes the most and what he wants to play with and what he wants to wear. And he gravitates towards anything that is a car or a truck, anything with wheels. That's his jam. And I I love that and I support that and I'm so excited about that, that he has something he's so passionate about. It makes me happy to see him happy. All kids should be allowed to like whatever they wanna like. They should all be allowed to explore and figure out what they're passionate about and what they're excited about because everyone is so different. And I am loving being his mom and letting him explore and figure that out for himself. I love you guys, I hope you're having a fabulous day and I will see you next time, bye.